Welcome to the 17th MATLAB Arduino tutorial. This video will cover turning an LED on and off and receiving temperature sensor data over HTTP. In this video we will go over the hardware, finding a usable IP address for the Ethernet shield on Mac and Windows, the Arduino program, HTTP codes, and then a demo. We will be using the Arduino Ethernet Shield. It is a 10100 Ethernet interface and provides TCP and UDP through an SPI interface. We will also be using the Texas Instruments TMP-102, which is a low-power, two-wire serial output digital temperature sensor that operates over a wide thermal range. This is the same temperature sensor used in video 10. As shown by the graph, the TMP-102 is specified for operation over a temperature range of negative 40 to 125 degrees Celsius. This sensor is accurate to within half a degree up to 85 degrees Celsius and has a resolution of 0.0625 degrees Celsius. Here is the pinout. Connect the supply voltage and ground to the plus 3.3 volt and the ground pins of the Arduino. Since it is an I2C device, Connect the SDA to pin A4 and the SCL to pin A5 and ADD0 to ground. Let's look at how to interface this shield with the Arduino. First we include the SPI, Ethernet, and I2C libraries with these lines. Next, initialize the variables for the MAC address and the IP address of the Ethernet shield. The MAC address is a unique identifier given to every network interface. They are usually baked into the device, but for the Arduino shield, it is programmed in here. If you have multiple Ethernet shields on a network, you will need to make sure that these identifiers are all different. The IP address is a number assigned to every device on a computer network. When you go to a website like Google.com, your computer asks a domain name server what the IP address of Google.com is, and it uses that to route through the Internet to a Google server. A name indicates what we seek, an address indicates where it is, and a route indicates how to get there. To find an IP address you can use for this field, on Windows, press the Start button and type CMD, then select the result. Type in ipconfig and hit Enter. The line across from IPv4 address in one of your results is your computer's IP address. To test an IP address to see if it is already being used, Change the last number after the third period to a number between 1 and 254 and use the ping command. Here I already have computer using 192.168.11.10 so I get a reply, but I do not have a computer using 192.168.11.15 so I do not get a response. On a Mac, open Spotlight and type in Terminal and open it. In the window that pops up, type in ifconfig and find an entry that starts with en and contains an inet line. Change the IP address in the same way and use the ping command in the same way. The only difference is the ping command won't stop automatically. To stop the ping, press Ctrl C. Next, initialize two variables, a 20-length char array called line buffer and an integer called line number. A boolean is temp and temp c, byte h, byte l, and temp. Then set up the Ethernet server on port 80. In setup, start the serial connection to the computer, set port 2 to be output, and then start the Ethernet shield with the MAC and IP address set earlier. In the main loop, if there is an Ethernet client, then we will parse the request. Initialize current line as blank. HTTP request end with a blank line, so when this is equal to true and the current character is a new line, you know the HTTP request has ended. Then, while the client is connected and while there are characters of the request available to be read, read the next char. If the char is a new line and the current line is blank, then we have reached the end of the request and we run parse request, then send a HTTP request. Clear the buffer and reset the counter. 
Otherwise, if the current char is a new line, set current line is blank to true. Otherwise, if the line number is less than 20, add the char to the line buffer and increment the counter. Set current line is blank to false. Once the request has been processed, delay and end the client connection. Define the function parse request. If the request was for slash on, then set is temp to false and turn on the LED. If it was sent to slash off, set is temp to false and turn off the LED. If the request was for slash TMP, set is temp to true. In send HTTP response, print HTTP slash 1.1, which tells the client the response is at HTTP response version 1.1, and the HTTP code is 200. With HTTP, the response codes can start with 1 through 5. The next two numbers define which code it is. 200 means OK, 301 means the request has been moved and should be directed to the given URL. 404 means the requested resource cannot be found, and 500 means an internal server error, which means the server encountered an unexpected problem while performing a request. These are just some examples of HTTP codes. There are many more and can be found online. Then send the content type of the response, tell the client to close the connection after it has received the response, and then send the HTML. Open the HTML tag. If is temp is true, Run get temp sent and print the temperature. Otherwise, send OK. Then close the HTML tag. Define the function get temp sent. First, request two bytes from the sensor, a note on the 7 bit address. Four, TMP 102 devices may share one I2C bus and read operations are addressed 72 to 75 based on the ADD0 pin configuration. Since we have grounded it to logic zero, we use decimal 72, which is found by converting the hex number to binary, then bit shifting right once. Read two bytes from the temperature register. As the TMP102 stores conversions as 12-bit value, position temperatures are denoted by the most significant bit equal to zero. Bit shift the first byte four bits to the left to form the MSB. Bit shift the second byte four bits to the right to form the LSB. Then logic or the two to combine. Multiply by the resolution of the sensor to get the temperature in degrees Celsius. In the case of negative temperatures denoted by the MSB equal to one, complement the absolute value binary number and add one. Upload the sketch and open your browser. Use the IP address you set earlier instead of the one you see here. Thank you for watching. Please visit matlabarduino.org for more videos.